I'm JP, I've uh, been working at VMware for four years now, um, working specifically on the vSphere platform in the core networking team. And today I'm gonna present you the upcoming network error control feature in vSphere 4.1. So network error control is the vSphere flagship solution for res uh, network resource management to help users uh, deal with their IO consolidated network environment, uh, mainly and powered by 10 gig, 10 gig network adapters today and 40 gig tomorrow. Managing such capacity is not actually a trivial, trivial task. And the reason is you're gonna have servers coming with uh, very few 10 gig network adapters, most likely two of them. And the direct result of that is you're gonna have workloads with different type and with very different needs that are gonna be merging all together without any underlying arbitration and making actually the, the host the very first point of congestion. The idea was to empower the user with a way to isolate his traffic. So you don't have a flow that starts dominating other, which is gonna create drops, undesired jitter, um, you know, connection timeout, let's say if your traffic is sensitive to latency to some extent. But more than that, we wanted the user to be able to partition his bandwidth with great flexibility so that he can deal with overcommitment at the host level where uh, you have multiple flows that are aggressively contending on the same limited capacity. So network error control is actually a VDS feature and provide control knobs through the uh, VDS UI management to, uh, to manage six predefined resource pools, which conveniently correspond to six well-known ESX traffic types. So you'll have the vMotion one, iSCSI, NFS, FT, uh, ESX management, and VM traffic. Through those, through those control nodes, a user will be able to specify the relative importance of a resource pool by giving shares. Shares are actually enforced at the uplink layer. And what it means is like the, under, the underlying uh, uplink bandwidth capacity is gonna be divided among uh, contenders based uh, on, a, on their relative shares. But that's gonna be done in a work on saving way, which means that if let's say you have one of the resource pools that doesn't use its shares, we're gonna redistribute the shares to the other contenders so you don't have waste of bandwidth. What it means is you'll be able to use uh, all the bandwidth you paid for in the first place, which is a great value obviously. Also, each resource pool uh, will have its very own dedicated queue, which means that a resource pool traffic will never be dropped because of noisy neighborhood. Finally, a user will be able to specify a limit, an absolute shaping cap. But as opposed to shares which are enforced at the uplink level, limits are enforced at the host level, which means that a resource pool will never be able to exceed uh, its uh, bandwidth uh, cap out of a given VDS for a given vSphere host. So network air control is just a great feature that's gonna make vSphere even more suitable for IO convergence in your data center.